Yeah, hi guys. We talked with uh, residents, DPW directors, and the state officials today to see if everybody is stocked for the season ahead. Uh, those officials telling us that last year's mild winter actually helped a lot because they didn't chew through their snow removal budget, and they're still, as you can see behind me here at the salt shed in Hartford, is an excess of this road salt. I know it's Connecticut and we should be ready for the snow, but I'm not. Winter weather on the way Wednesday. Are you prepared? I wish that I already had salt, like that bag of salt. Um, I wish that I had the electrical snowblower, not the one with that big, long orange cable, which I feel like we'll have to dig out. Um, and I wish I had some good shovels. Good news for her, the shelves are stocked across the street at Larson Ace Hardware in West Hartford. Shovels, gloves, salt, and snowblowers. Get them early before the supply chain shortages kick in. It does affect us. It affects everybody. But what we're able to do, as I said earlier, is we do our purchases uh, many, many months in advance. From your driveway to the municipal streets, Hartford's DPW yard was bustling Tuesday. The salt shed stacked high, the brine barrels filled to pre-treat the roads. But with no accumulating snow expected, the scoops aren't even on the plows yet. We've been checking out all of our equipment, making sure our trucks are, are up and ready to go. And from the city streets to the state highways, Connecticut DOT tempering your snow clearing expectations. If I have any word of caution this year, it's that it may take us a little bit longer. Why? Plow driver shortages. We've had a lot of people that became eligible for retirement, somewhere in the vicinity of 30% of the workforce. So we're very, very actively engaged in trying to hire more people, as is everybody right now. And the Connecticut DOT also told me that many of their plow drivers were affected by COVID. Unfortunately, they do not have a job where they're able to work uh, remotely. The DOT going on to tell me that they are working through these same supply shortages as everybody else. And it affects the time that it takes for them to repair uh, any of their broken equipment. For now, we're live here at the DPW yard in Hartford. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.